Hey guys, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day as always. Today, I'm gonna show you how to send your Bitcoin from Gemini to your Trezor Model T and then back to Gemini. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to smash that like button down below and let's get started. So let's hop into your Gemini account. So once you're in there, um, what we're gonna have to do here before we can start sending Bitcoin back and forth is we actually have to get a receiving address approved on your account. So let's go ahead and do that here. So let's uh, pull up the account button here, click on settings. You're then gonna go all the way down to approved addresses. From here, you're gonna see a list of, I mean, I have several addresses on this account already, but just go ahead and click on add address. You're gonna select the network, obviously Bitcoin. Let's put a label. So let's call this BTC Model T. And then of course you're going to put in the address there. So how do we grab the address? I'm glad you asked. Let's hop on over to our Trezor suite. Let's click on the receive button and then show full address. You're then going to have to put in your pin number here, um, as you can see right there. You've got your screen there to put in your pin. So put in your pin. Once it verifies that that pin is correct, it's then going to show you your QR code and the address for that receiving address. Scan the code or copy and paste that address into that section on Gemini. But please, 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 I will always say this to you, double and triple check your address. You never want to have an incomplete address put in and then suddenly you either have to wait another seven days to do it all over again because it takes seven days for Gemini to approve your address or you never want to send crypto to an incomplete address and then you lose all of that, in this case, Bitcoin, or if you did Ethereum on the Ethereum blockchain, um, it would poof, be gone. So you never want that to happen. So please double and triple check that address and make sure everything is correct before you send things off, okay? Once you've put it into the address section, go ahead and select continue, re-enter that address, confirm it, and then success. So then you can see it's down here on uh, as a Bitcoin address, it's pending. It will take seven days to clear. So um, we'll jump ahead here once it clears and then I'll show you guys from here on out how to send to your Tracer Model T and then back to Gemini. All right, and now our address has been approved on Gemini. I'm gonna show you on what it looks like here on the app but also on the desktop. So real quick on the desktop, uh, you're going to click on transfer withdrawal from Gemini. You're then going to select what type of currency uh, that you want to send it through. Obviously the Bitcoin network. Continue. Transfer to. Obviously I only have one approved BTC address. It's the one we set up. Continue. And then the withdrawal amount you can click on max and continue from there. And then it's going to show you the amount, the date, from my Gemini account to the saved address that I have for my Trezor Model T. Um, and then you can request withdrawal. So that is how you do it on the desktop. Now here for the mobile app. So just scroll on down here to same thing with withdrawal from BTC. You're then going to select uh, the amount that you want. Um, obviously I wanna do all of it seven there we go continue you see i have my d uh my d i have my btc address here saved right there it, it pops up right away then with review withdrawal man i need more coffee today so we're going to do that all right so then it shows right now the withdrawal amount the effective date and then of course the destination address as i told you before double and triple check your addresses I'll save this video time and not do it, it for the camera, but just double and triple check guys as always. So then we're gonna swipe to confirm. And then you're gonna get a seven digit code through a text message, put that in, continue. 
and you're gonna get a similar process if you do it through the desktop, but I like to show on mobile because a lot of my uh, viewers are on mobile. So then, okay, success, so it's sent. So now you can see we've gone from the Gemini app, the exchange, on over to the address that we have on our receiving address on our Trezor Model T. And then you're gonna come on over to your Trezor suite just to confirm that it has come through. Now you're gonna come up here on the dashboard. You can click on Bitcoin down below or accounts, either one works. And then just make sure you're in the Bitcoin account that you have here. Um, and as you can see, the um, my Bitcoin transaction has not been verified on the blockchain yet. So it could take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes for that to happen. I just, as of recording this video, I just kept on going here. So I'm gonna pause the video right now and then show you that it has come through and it's confirmed on my Trezor. And then we'll show you again how to send it from the Trezor back to Gemini. All right, so about uh, you know 12 minutes, 13 minutes had passed here. And then uh, to keep things moving along here on the video, let's go ahead and click send. This is where you're gonna put in your receiving address for where you're sending to on Gemini. You can do the scan feature so that you can hold up your phone with a QR code and just scan it with your web app if you wanna do that. Um, or you can use uh, your desktop and copy and paste the address that way. Do whatever works for you guys. If you are gonna grab it from the desktop, I should say here, let's come on over here. You see I'm on the Bitcoin page. Come up to the top right where it says transfer and then deposit into Gemini. So click on that. You're then going to select the currency, Bitcoin, and then it's going to show you the address right away here. And then you can copy and paste that into that uh, section on the Trezor Model T. And if you're wondering where it is on the mobile app here, just scroll on down to the bottom and it shows deposit BTC. You're then going to see your QR code and even the actual address here. You can uh, click on copy to copy it and then you can copy and paste that back into the Trezor suite. Uh, that's where you can find it here on the mobile app. All right, so back in the Trezor suite here, so you can select how much you wanna send of the BTC or say, let's uh, you wanna show, okay, how much USD do I wanna send instead? It's up to you. Um, I prefer, at least for this video here, I'm just gonna send the max amount that I have on uh, the Trezor suite, my Model T, and it's gonna do all the math for me. It's going to show it out there. Scrolling on down here to the fees, so you can see normal fee here. It's gonna be about six sats, okay? And the estimated time will be about an hour. And it also is handy here, it shows me uh, it's gonna be about 53 cents to send it, okay? You could come down to economy, which is about nine cents and one sat, and then low just does the same thing. If you wanna go high, if you wanna go within about 10 minutes, it's gonna be about almost a dollar right now of recording this video to send it. But I'm like, you know what? On normal, it usually doesn't take uh, an hour, but that's, you know, keep in mind, it also depends on how congested the, the network is. So if you wanna do economy, you just wanna save some, some money, just click economy, click send, and then it will send it. And for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do high here because I wanna show you guys quickly how it will move on the blockchain. So it, this includes the fee, and we're gonna do review and send. So then on my Trezor Model T, I do need to put my pin back in because it's asking me to do that. It's verifying the pin, it's done, perfect. And then it shows me the amount of BTC I'm sending to that particular address. I'm gonna confirm that yes, it is correct. Total amount, including fee here, hold to confirm. Now you can also see it on the desktop here, the amount, everything else is on. Hold to confirm it, perfect. And it is sent. All right, there we go. So now it has sent from my Trezor Model T on the blockchain. I will see it on Gemini here. Uh, give me a second as it confirms and then we'll come back and I'll show you that it's on Gemini. And it finally got confirmed here on the blockchain. I did some quick math. So if you guys remember at the beginning when I sent it to Trezor, it took only about like 12 to 13 minutes. Coming back, 
I would say the only reason is because of the congested uh, blockchain. Um, it took 59 minutes for it to come back into Gemini. And so what I can do here within Bitcoin, you just come scroll down to uh, the amount of Bitcoin that I have, it shows the quantity, the value in USD, and then of course my portfolio percentage, uh, which is only 4.1%. Um, and so anyways, you can see that it did come here into your account. If you want to see the transaction, go here on your, your mobile app, scroll down to transaction history, and then you can see right at the top there um, that it was deposited. You can even click on view transaction to see more details on that transaction. Um, but for whatever reason, it, the transactions are showing up here on the mobile app. I don't know why it doesn't show up on the desktop. But uh, yeah, guys, that is how you can see. And then of course here, you can see my uh, trade balance. I have $99 worth right now based on what the price of Bitcoin is at this time. Uh, but yeah, that is how you uh, send your Bitcoin from Gemini Exchange to your trades order Model T. And then back, if you ever wanna transition it back into Gemini to transact and maybe you wanna swap it into another crypto asset. Anyways, if you guys found that helpful, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I post weekly videos uh, and I bring helpful content to you. At least I hope it's helpful to you. So if it was, like I said, subscribe to the channel, like, that, uh, like the video. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.